In this video, I'm going to help you understand some of the best stratagems right now in Helldivers 2. So this has changed a little bit since the patch a few days ago, but we're going to go through these and I'm going to help you understand what's good and what's bad. So real quick, for ones that are bad, we're just going to kind of skip them. So machine gun, very good early game and then horrible late game, anti-material rifle, not that great early game, bad late game, stalwart, okay to good early game, bad late game, expendable anti-tank is actually pretty good mid game for just having a way to blow up armored enemies but then is pretty bad late game you know in general uh but i've wondered i wanted to try it more and see if i could find a way to make it not totally suck late game but helldiver 9 solo or something like that not not really gonna do much for you most of the time uh recoilless rifle is actually not that bad you don't need someone to uh load it for you i think the best way to use it probably is just to have the backpack on yourself and slow reload and then you know use it and when you get a chance to use it use it again um it can actually kill some of the big enemies so it's not the greatest uh stratagem ever but even late game it's definitely like plausible to use it especially if you're playing with four people solo not so great because it eats up your backpack slot and also it's just there's better options is really what it comes down to but it is a nice way to damage um the bile titans and the the armor or the devastators and stuff uh, destroyers and stuff and the automatons and different things like that so it's a decent strategy flamethrower s tier this thing's uh right now after the uh most recent patch it does 50 percent more direct damage when you directly fire on somebody and that made it you know one of the best stratagems in the entire game right now for the terminates automatons garbage it's pretty much garbage for the automaton missions because you kind of just get to stand in the open and fire at enemies and when they're shooting back at you with rockets you just die so automatons terrible terminates it's like s tier it's you know the best one of the best or whatever the best i personally like it the most for the terminate missions auto cannon is um pretty decent actually but uh it's just the problem is it doesn't kill the heavily armored enemies very well if at all and that's kind of the problem because if you get to late game and you're doing hell die difficulty and stuff the problem is you never have a problem with killing the smaller enemies you, you, there's ways to kill them with just normal guns and things if you know how to play it right the main thing is you would need stratagems for two things you need stratagems for killing the armored enemies and you need stratagems for clearing large amounts of enemies if you start getting overwhelmed so this one doesn't really do that for you. It's definitely a really fun stratagem to use, and it's definitely good. It's just to fall off late game because it doesn't fill that niche of killing heavily armored enemies. Uh, there's one niche scenario, which is the kill terminates mission on Helldive, and you get up on this one rock, and you blow the, the abdomens out of the bile titans, and then, then nothing can get to you on the rock, but that's uh, extremely niche. So late game, not so great. But it's, it's, it's an okay stratagem. It's just not the best late game. Um, Railgun is also one of the best, if not the best, stratagems late game. Uh, they got a nerf recently, so it's not nearly as good. It was the hands-down best thing in the entire game, and now it got nerfed to where it's more balanced. But the problem is you have to change it to unsafe mode, which you do by holding the reload button and then doing your secondary fire, which is right-click a mouse keyboard, in order to swap it over to unsafe mode. If you don't use it in unsafe mode, it's pretty bad. It's still good, but it's just not that great. If you get in unsafe mode, you can char overcharge it a little bit, and then it'll work like how it used to, where it'll penetrate armor. You can kill chargers and bile titans with it. But it got such a pretty big nerf, so now it's four leg shots to knock the armor off a of bile titan where it used to be two. And the bile, or the bile titan, I meant the charger. I say charger, bile, anyway. Uh, it's four shots to knock the leg off the charger for, or the armor off the, the leg of the charger. Now it used to be two. And the Bile Titan used to be able to either one-shot it or five-shot it or ten-shot it, depending where you hit it in the head and stuff. And now all those numbers are basically doubled, so it's not as good as it used to be. But it still kills Brood Commanders and the Bile Spitter Spewers and stuff in one hit if you do it right on unsafe mode. So it's still an insanely good weapon, definitely a viable option. And then also for, you know, the uh, Automaton missions, it's harder to kill them now, but it still can kill things with, like, the headshots and stuff, so... It's a good thing. Not the best, best ever thing, but it's it's definitely good still. Um, the spear is kind of weird. So the spear is like good, but it, it's tough to get enough value out of it, especially with how long the cooldown is. It's 480 second cooldown, and it only has four shots, including the backpack reloads. So it's decent, and automatons are killing the tanks and stuff, and it's okay for the Bile Titan, although you might be using all four just to kill one if you get bad shots, but uh, it's, it's an all right option. It's not the worst thing ever, but there's probably better things but if you're in a group of four i mean it's fun to use and it can kill the heavily armored things fairly well so you can give it a shot it's it's all right you know um now moving on to the orbital cannons so the orbital gatling barrage is not very good it doesn't even kill the weak enemies very well which would be the only thing it could even kill the only upside is the cooldown time is only 80 seconds so you can spam it but overall late game at least not very good early game still not that great honestly uh the orbital airburst strike 
This one is actually okay. Um, it fires like three of these things in one spot. So it's actually okay for clearing groups of enemies, especially if you can get them to run through a choke. And then you throw it down in the path they're walking through, and they'll keep walking into it as it shoots all like one, then another, then another. It'll keep clearing the weak enemies. Doesn't do much against the strong enemies, but if you need something for clearing weak enemies, it's all right. And it's an early game option, and the cooldown is really low, so it's all right. It's decent, uh, but not the best, but but decent. Uh, the Orbital 120 MMHE Barrage. Now, maybe uh, I I don't know. I don't know how other people feel about this one, but I think this one's terrible, mainly because the inconsistency and randomness of it. Like you can even see in the video here. It's just erratic where it hits, and considering enemies are chasing you, it's like, at least for this one, you know, and the automatons maybe a little bit more because they kind of hang back a little bit more, but just, it's just too inconsistent. The same for the 380 millimeter HE barrage. I don't know if it's millimeter, but it's MM. Uh, this one is same thing. It's just so inconsistent. I, I just, I'm not a fan personally. I just think, even if it was great, the problem is the inconsistency. So even if it's like, oh, this time it was great, other time it was terrible, and if, if one time being terrible just makes it awful, then you just die. So. Not a big fan. So the orbital walking barrage is um, similar problem, pretty bad because of the inconsistency of the accuracy on it. Now, in theory, you could like try something of like throw it sideways or throw it whichever way, and then run and run the bile titan through it and hope that a bunch of them hit. And you could kill a bile titan. They're same for destroyer or something. Ah, it's just too it's too much work, too impractical. I'm not a fan. I think it's kind of bad. Um, orbital laser is pretty good. It's definitely a viable option. It can kill the heavily armored enemies pretty easily. And after it kills them, it'll start swiping around, killing other random things too. Um, so late game. Yeah, this is definitely a viable option. If you want to run this as your main way to deal with bile Titans, chargers, destroyers, different things, uh, it's definitely viable. The only downside to it is the cooldown is really long. It's five minutes and you can only use it three times per, uh, per m match. I don't know what to call it per mission, I guess. And so that can, you you can run out of it basically. But if you have four people and everyone has it, I doubt that'll really happen unless you guys actually use it at the same time too often. But it's, it's a good, it's a good one. Um, orbital rail cannon strike. Now, I don't know how other people feel about this one, but I actually think this one's really good, but only in certain scenarios. So in some of the automaton things, it'll just one shot certain things. Uh, some enemies will get one shot, like chargers can often get one shot. But the main thing I use it for is in terminated missions and the Bile Titan. If, if you blow the Abdomen out of the Bile Titan and then use the Orbital Rail Cannon Strike, it'll one-shot the Bile Titan, and it only has a cooldown of whatever that is, like three and a half minutes or something. So uh, with the, if you don't have the 50% stratagem cooldown effect, then uh, this one is, you know, you can use it often enough that uh, you can generally deal with a lot of different enemies. If uh, multiple people in a party have it, you can deal with pretty much any number of Bile Titans or Destroyers that show up using them potentially. Uh, maybe not the best ever, but I I've been running a lot lately with my flamethrower just because I flamethrower out the gut of the Bile Titan and then use it to finish it, but you know, maybe, maybe not the greatest thing. It's definitely viable, though. Absolutely a viable option. Then we got the Eagle Strafing Run. I've never really been too much of a fan of this one um, because there's better options for Eagles, but if you want to try to clear weak enemies early game, it's good for clearing weak enemies. Uh, late game, I'm not, I don't think it's so good. The Eagle Airstrike, similar thing. It can clear enemies, but it's a little inconsistent, and it's kind of small. Early game, it's reasonable. Late game, I, I don't use it. It just doesn't seem like it does enough. Um, the Eagle Cluster Bomb. Now, this one, I would, I personally believe to be S tier, because uh, even late game, it just, it is so good for clearing small enemies and just for do, doing some damage to the stronger ones, and it covers a very, very wide area. So it, it's just a big area. You got a big group of enemies chasing you. You can turn around and throw it. Whatever way you're facing when you throw it, the bomb will go right and left from that. So don't look 90 degrees to your side and throw it because then it'll go straight in the direction you're going. So you want to, whatever way you're looking at, it'll go left and right of that. So turn around completely and then throw it and then turn around completely again and run away from where you threw it or else you're going to blow yourself up. But uh, because of that, you can angle it in weird ways around you know, terrain stuff and get it to cover an entire chunk of area that will guarantee to have a bunch of enemies. I mean, I've had it before where I threw this and it literally killed 40 terminates. So if you get this just right, it can just clear all the little ones, basically, if you do it right. Insanely good. I put it as S tier, personally. I think it's insane. Napalm Strike. I tried this. Uh, it, it seemed pretty pretty, pretty terrible because the all it really does is d puts on the dot onto them for flame damage, which is damage over time on the enemies. And the flame dot, it doesn't really do enough damage. Like, Because like in this video in the background, right, he's standing. Oh, he died. They're chasing you. They're not going to stand in it. So they're just going to um, run out of it and take like a fifth, fourth, half of their HP, and you still got to kill them yourself. So 
it, it's not really going to do much for you. And again, late game, S, you know, held eye difficulty, it's not going to deal with armored enemies. It's not going to deal with any of the real problems that you're running into. Jump pack. Um, very, very good early game because you can cheese. You can get up on top of rocks and then just hang out on top of rocks and deal with situations. Very good if you feel overwhelmed a lot of the time. You can just get it whenever you're finding things to jump up on rocks and then reassess and take your time and understand what's going on. It's good for new players. Late game, it falls off because they're just better options. It's like, yeah, it's nice I could do that, but I'd rather just kill them all and not have to turtle on top of a rock and get stuck and be pinned a dip there. You know, like it's good early, good for learning the game, bad late game. Eagle Smoke Strike, hilarious because it's actually good, but there's probably better options. So, if you want to play stealthy as a solo, you can use this to get away from enemies. It works. You got to throw it in front of you. You got to be running and throw it in front of you where you're going, and then have somewhere that you want to go through it, and then cut left or cut right after going through it. And then the enemies will run through it, and if you're not there, immediately they get confused, and it just it loses a lot of aggro. It makes it possible to disengage. And as a solo doing hell dive difficulty, if you're, you know, newer to it and you're struggling, it can make a difference. As long as you learn how to use it correctly and how to lose a lot of the enemy aggro with it, it's just insane. It's kind of hard to lose Bile Titan aggro because they can kind of see over it a little bit. But everything else, you can basically just lose huge chunks of groups chasing you and disengage and reassess and come back in and do whatever way you want. So uh, I would say A tier type of thing, B to A tier late game. But it, again, there's better options. It's better to get good enough with all these things and, and good enough at the game to just kill everything ideally but if you're not to that point yet this one can definitely help you a lot the eagle 110 mm rocket pods uh i had such high hopes for this one i tried it so many times it's terrible sadly because the thing is, is it, it targets the largest target near the stratagem beacon so i thought oh, okay maybe i can finish off a um Bile Titan with it, and it doesn't. Even though I blow up the admin of Bile Titan and then throw all three of these back to back to back of the Bile Titan, it still doesn't kill it. So basically, it just doesn't do enough damage. It, it's kind of weird. It just doesn't do damage. So not good. It targets large enemies. doesn't actually hurt them. Pretty bad. All right, 500 kg bomb. S tier. This one's S tier. It's just uh, it's kind of boring and repetitive to use, but the main thing is you can kill a Bile Titan with it. You can also kill big chunks of enemies with it. You can clear objectives sometimes with it. I can like close bug holes with it. Uh, it's really good when there's um, too many of the big enemies and you need to clear some of them out. Now it's kind of hard because um, you have to be really skillful with it. So like a bile titan, for example, you need to place the stratagem and then you got to run up to the bile titan to make the bile titan try to stomp on you. So that way it'll stand over the bomb and then you got to run and then dive away and try not to die. It, it, it's really hard to use correctly, but if you you know bring your skill level up high enough with it, you know getting used to it and learning how to use it correctly then it goes above and beyond uh definitely a big learning curve on it to get value on it but if you you know go through that learning curve and actually get the value then you can kill the big enemies with it you know one to one each one kills one also with later you know you can get a ship module for the eagle so ship module um and then there's the uh not power steering um expanded weapons bay and it'll increase number of eagle stratum uses per rearm by one which gives you two of these per rearm and that's when it really is good before that it's not so great it's still good but whatever once you get that then it's good you get to use two and then you got to rearm the eagle that's much better. So that's it for Eagles. That's that's how I feel all those ones. So for the bridge, all these little ones in here. Orbital Precision Strike. Eh, it's good early game to be able to deal with things. You can combo with the jet the jump pack, get up on a rock, and then keep throwing it down at Bile Titans and Chargers till they're dead or something. But uh, there's a little bit of variance between where it lands, so it can't just blow you up if you throw it really close to you. And uh, good early game, terrible late game, not enough value, even though the cooldowns are low, just just not enough value in my opinion. And then the gas strike is interesting. I tried this a few times, and it's not that it's bad. It's just there's better options. So, like, you can throw it on a giant group of enemies chasing you. All the weak ones can run through it and maybe die, maybe. But, again, you run the problem late game of I need to be able to deal with the Bile Titans and the Chargers, and this is not going to do it for me. So, it's not good late game, in my opinion. It's all right, though. I mean, you could do it for fun, playing with four people, because there's not that much pressure. And, you, and it definitely can get value. It's just not the greatest thing you can do. Um, orbital EMS strike is uh, good and bad. So like, it can be insanely good, but it's also it doesn't last long enough. The cooldown's really good though. So like, there's better options is really what it comes down to. But if you're in a group of four, maybe you could be that guy who uses it, and maybe it would help people or something. And buyers, you can probably, you can build strategies around it. But there's generally better options. But it's definitely a fun one to experiment with. I probably want to experiment more with it in the future just because it's got potential to use it in certain ways. But overall, there's better options. So I put like B or something. It's, it's actually kind of okay, but it's not the greatest. Um, Orbital Smoke Strike is good and bad. It's basically the Eagle Smoke Strike. But instead of getting multiple uses, it's just got uh, basically um, a minute and a half. It's minute and 40 second cooldown. 
And uh, so if you want to do the same thing as the other one that we talked about, the smoke strike, you could use this one. Uh, depending on how you think you're going to use smoke strikes. I prefer the eagle one because a lot of times I'll need more than one smoke strike to disengage if I'm going to play that way. I'll do one, run through it. I still got a few things on me and I'm kind of, you know, like, I just keep running, keep running and throw another and run through it, run around a rock and then lose them. So just having one, it could work, but I prefer the eagle one personally. Um, the HMG emplacement, it, it feels so promising and it's terrible. It's just terrible. I, it, it's just, again, you brought the problem with, it doesn't kill armored enemies. And, uh, yeah, it's okay for the smaller enemies, but also you're stationary. And if you play this game enough, you know, first off, they have rockets on the automatons. You, you just get blown up. And for the Terminids, you know, a big part of the game is kiting. You want to be running away while fighting a lot of the time because you don't want to get overwhelmed. Especially later on when there's lots of stronger enemies. And this one's just not going to do it because it's stationary. And you got to stand on it. So, it's just, I don't know, not as good as you would hope it would be. Um, Shield Generator Relay. I'll be honest, I haven't played this as much as I should because I play too many Terminid missions. Terminids, I think it's probably terrible because they just are melee enemies and they just walk right through it and just blow it up and attack you. The one upside though is it has an absurd amount of HP. I did notice whenever I throw it in the Terminid missions that they would walk through it and attack it and it would take them like 20 seconds to blow it up. So it could be a way to group them up and then you throw a 500 kg bomb on it right as it's about to blow up and then it disappears and the kg bomb lands and everything blows up or some crazy thing. But I just feel like it's not worth the stratagem slot and terminates. Now, in automatons, it can be good because you're dealing with ranged enemies. Uh, I don't have a ton of experience with it, but there's definitely potential. I feel like there's probably better options. It's always better to be aggressive and just not have to be stationary and get shot at. But, you know, there could be a time and a place. It definitely would be viable. Uh, I, I can't with confidence give this a good rating, but my suspicion based on my limited use is like a B or A rank type one. You know, it's not S tier generally, but maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. That's where I'm at for playing this game as long as I have. Uh, Tesla Tower. Again, I haven't played with this one as much as I should have, uh, but I, I have mixed feelings on it because it didn't seem like it annihilated the strong enemies so much. Like a charger just comes over and blows it up was what I understood. Uh, I haven't used it as much as I should in order to, you know, test it enough, but it seemed like really good for the small enemies like insanely good for the small enemies and uh i haven't tested enough but i don't think it's good enough but i think bile time would just destroy it right like that's what i assume at least uh i only need to test it more though I i'm sorry on that one i'm not 100 percent on this one and then for the automatons uh I again i haven't tested enough on the automatons but i'm assuming it's back they have rockets I, I would assume they target it i, I just have not used it a whole lot uh so if you guys want to play with that one feel free this is the one that i actually know the least about just i've only used it like twice or maybe three times. Uh, I'll, have to, I'll have to get back to you guys on that one. But again, it, it has potential. It is strong. It just... I don't know how good it is against the big enemies is the problem. And that's what all you run into in Hell Die difficulty. All right. So going on to the last... Or is this the last section? There's two more sections. All right. Engineering... Or the Engineering Bay. Anti-Personnel Minefield. Insanely good early game. Just to have something when you're level one to clear a bunch of stuff. And then late game is just not good enough. It's just not enough value and the cooldown's too long. Supply Pack. S tier. Insanely good. You're basically... Your options late game are Supply Pack or the shield generator, which we'll get to in a sec, or the guard dog. Um, this one, if you're really skilled and you don't find yourself getting overwhelmed a lot, this will allow you to just keep killing and keep killing and then keep killing and reloading and just keep on killing, keep stimming, keep throwing grenades, never have to stop. And also, if you use a normal resupply, you can fill the backpack back up while also using the normal resupply. So you guys just go forever. It's very, very convenient, good, and allows you to just keep unloading on enemies forever. It's my favorite, personally, for backpacks. I use it all the time, uh, but some people prefer other things. Like if you, I don't, I don't, I don't find myself getting overwhelmed very often because I'm usually just keep up with the enemies that are on me, so uh, I don't find it the much of an issue. Automatons maybe not quite as good because of the the, the shield generator can protect you from the random rocket that comes out of nowhere and prevent you from dying to some random rocket. Uh, so that might be better on automatons, but for terminates, I feel like supply packs better because if you get good enough control of the situation, it's just you have more um, control and you can just uh, keep firing, killing things forever. Grenade launcher. Um, a to S tier, it's good. Uh, after the rail gun nerf, it's definitely a good option. Uh, the problem is it's just terrain based. So it won't ex explode on the ground unless you're looking down at, a, at a, an angle. So if you're looking up a hill, it'll just roll along the ground and go under the enemies, which makes it inconsistent. But it is good. It can kill a charger pretty, da pretty darn fast. A uh, Bile Titan, I've never been able to kill one with it. I've unloaded multiple you know things into it, multiple magazines into it, and can't be able to kill them. But it's definitely a good option, especially early game. It's pretty good for killing the chargers and things. Highly recommend it until you get better options and maybe in late game. And it's good for closing bug holes on the missions where you have to just close like 10 to 20 bug holes. Uh, pretty good for that. 
Laser cannon. Um, this one isn't this one. This one got buffed recently. I haven't played it much since the buff. Um, it it is decent mainly because it doesn't use ammo, so you just keep using it forever. Um, and I, there is apparently a way to kill chargers with it. I was told, but it's not that great. And then I don't think you can kill bile titans with it. I don't know that you can kill the destroyers, the titans, whatever they're called on the automaton ones. Um, it's an all right option. You know, it's all right mainly because of the unlimited ammo. It's all right. That's what I'll say. It, I maybe it's insanely broken. Um, I'd have to play a little bit more. It's definitely all right to good. I personally think there's better options, but you know, if you if you like it, go for it and try to see if you can master it and find a way to make it the best. That's it's it's possible, maybe question mark, but it's all right. All right, incendiary mines. Um, I never used them much. Again, the the dot damage from burn is just not enough. Um, so it's just what's it gonna do? It's it, they're gonna catch fire. Uh, there's a little bit of explosion that damage them too, so it could be all right. But again, it's just it's just not enough value. It's just like. I used it. All right, well, now back to normal gameplay for the next three minutes, and it killed some things. I still got six chargers chasing me and two bile titans. All right, you know, it it's not that great. All right, so guard dog. Uh, this one's insanely good. Um, it's definitely one of the best, especially when you're still getting used to the game because it'll kill a lot of the small enemies for you. What it's really good for is when you get sworn by the hunters in a terminated mission, and you can just run away, and it'll keep them off your back, basically. So if you find yourself dying to that all the time, you can run this. It helps a lot. Um, and it just helps kill a lot more. Uh, it helps kill a lot of small enemies. That's really all this. Uh, so it, it's just good. It's good for newer players. Uh, that's my opinion. And late game, it's still pretty a pretty good option if you want to run it if you like it. Ballistic shield backpack. Uh, I've <laughs> I'll be honest. I've never even actually used it because I just know that there's better options. Uh, for the automatons, there's like a scenario where you four people and one guy could try to distract them. I assume a rocket will still screw you up, which is the main problem that you're gonna run into. So. I could be wrong because I don't think I've ever actually used it, but just in theory, there's so many better options is, is the issue I run into with it that even just on paper, I'm like, there's just no way. Like, I'd rather kill them than turtle. You know what I mean? That's always how it goes in video games. But maybe I'm dead ass wrong. Maybe it's the best thing in the world, but I've never seen anyone use it. I've never used it. It just It's just not reasonable feeling. Arc thrower. Um, this one's actually insanely good, but it is a catch. So um, it can just kill enemies like crazy. You never have to reload. Unlimited ammo. Just keep going and going and going. Insanely good for killing small enemies. Uh, not so good for big enemies. Um, you get to a charger, you get to a destroyer or whatever, the tank or something. It, useless, basically. I mean, it, it. I don't even know if it can kill them. I can't remember, but all I know is if it did kill them, it took me forever, and it was just not worth it. So, uh, insanely good for the weak enemies. If you have a party of four, you could be the guy who uses it, and just all you do is focus on clearing small enemies and leave it to other people for everything else. But overall, you know, better options is how I feel. So, not that great. You can use it. It's fun. It's not the worst thing ever, but it sucks for big enemies. Shield generator pack S tier is basically this in supply pack. The guard dog is also an option, but this is supply pack is basically how it goes for backpacks. This saw a nerf recently because it was too OP and it's still pretty darn good. Mainly because, especially on automaton missions, it protects you from that random rocket that might just kill you and you're just running around and suddenly a rocket hit you and you're dead. And that's kind of where it's at. You save your reinforcements. You know, use less reinforcements in an automaton mission. Don't just die to a random rocket. Pretty good. A to S tier. Probably S tier. At least right now. Uh, now we got down to the robotics. We got machine gun sentry. This one is so good early game and then just so bad late game. So when you're low level and you don't have any stratagems unlocked because you're too low level to get them, um, that's when this one is really, really good. Uh, and then there's also the Gatling sentry, which is the better one. Ideally, you use the Gatling sentry. It's just better. Uh, but same thing here. They just kill all the weak enemies. They don't do pretty much anything against the large enemies. And the char like a lot of the large enemies will prioritize them. I know specifically chargers. The second that charger a charger exists and this exists, it'll run straight to it and blow it up no matter what. It's just it's programmed to do that. So falls off once there's a lot of armored enemies. They'll just kill them immediately. So it's good early, bad mid to late game. Mortar sentry is actually insanely good. Early game, maybe not as good because it's not so good for clearing small, like insane amounts of small enemies. But it can annihilate the large enemies. So if you put it in a position where the large enemies either can't get to it or it takes them a long time to get to it, uh, they might just kill them and never get to it. And it'll get, if you can get it to unload all of its ammo and then disappear or you know go away from running out of ammo, then the value from it's actually just asinine and it has a pretty low cooldown of three minutes. So it's definitely a good option. You know you definitely try. It's really good for the kill terminates, kill automaton missions, whatever. Uh, but you know it will run out of ammo eventually. You can upgrade the ammo ship modules, but by fifty percent. Um, and that helps a lot, but definitely a good option. Consider using it. It's, it depends on the mission and things. It depends on your, what you like to use. I don't use it personally very much, if ever, but it's definitely good. I have used it before. It's definitely good. Um, guard Dog this is another version of the same thing. This one fires a different type of weapon. Instead of a beam, it fires like a machine gun. Um, 
I don't know. They seem about the same to me. I mean, maybe one's better than the other, but more or less the exact same thing. So you could try out both and find out which one you like more. I, I haven't used both of them enough to know is like the laser better than the machine gun. I, I don't know offhand, uh, but they're both basically about as effective as the other. So more or less same thing. Good for keeping new players alive. Uh, good late game too, but better options if you're really, really skillful late game. Auto cannon sentry is one of the best stratagems and one of the worst stratagems at the same time. So if you can get it to actually fire, then it's really good because it will annihilate the heavily armored enemies and it'll kill lots of the weak enemies and it has a lot of ammo. Like look at that video. They just destroyed the charger and a few shots just annihilates them, right? And it fires fast. Problem is it turns super slow. So until you get, there's um, one of these things. Is it this one? Yeah, this one makes sentries rotate towards new targets more quickly. The level three one of the robotics workshop. Once you get that, maybe it's a little bit better. Without that, it turns so slow that you'll be lucky if it even fires at enemies. Because, I mean, this thing, to do a to do a 180 takes this thing literally like 30 seconds or 20 seconds. It turns so slow. And because of that, it'll just never shoot a lot. A lot of it'll throw it down. It won't shoot at all, and then it'll just get blown up by a charger or something. But if you get it to shoot, dang, does it give value. So, potential to be S tier. Most times B tier. Once you get that upgrade, maybe A tier on average. You know, it, it can be really good. It's I like it a lot. I don't use it anymore because I don't have that upgrade. And without that upgrade, I, I don't, I'm not a fan. Rocket sentry, very disappointing. So it's effective against armored targets, and the turret will primarily aim at larger enemies. Problem is, it doesn't really kill them. Like it, it yeah, it shoots chargers, it shoots biotines, it shoots destroyers, tanks, but it just takes so many rockets to actually kill them. That they'll come over and blow it up before it kills them. It, it generally will not even kill a single one. At least when I used it. That was my testing. What I saw when I, I tried it many times. And it was always the same result. It just doesn't kill them fast enough. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just think it's not very good. You can try it and see if you get different results. But that was, that's how it was for me. EMS Mortar Sentry. I played with a few times. And I feel like it has potential with certain strat. Like you'd have to, you'd have to strategize around this stratagem. But... I just don't, I don't know. It's it's just there's better options, right? It's just better options. Like why slow them when you could just kill them? Might be a little bit better on the automaton missions because they're a little bit more stationary, and then it could stun them and they stop shooting, and then you can more easily just sit there and aim at them and kill them. Uh, so I'd say it's probably better for automatons than terminates, but also there's probably better options. But it's better than you would think because it'll keep shelling as opposed to the other EMS. Is a uh, you throw it down and then it's gone in like. 20 seconds and now wow they're in a whole stratagem just to stun one small group of enemies this one just keeps stunning enemies left and right all over the place and give you lots of openings to kill a lot of things which again is better for automatons i think i think it's probably better for those better options but if you like it go for it patriot exosuit this is the newest one um this one's insanely good honestly like dude uh, it's probably s tier i would just, i would say because this makes it so you get at least when i made this video make so you get three a patriot exosuit so this one gives you two you also have one by default when i made this video um and so and it has a cooldown so you get it back like i guess um and the exosuit's just insanely strong now you can't reload the exosuit once it's out of ammo it's out of ammo you can the exosuit can run over enemies and stuff and um, only small ones rockets are broken just overpowered the rockets if you hit a charger in the right spot it's one or two hits i think two hits in order to kill them hitting them in the leg uh it can kill bile titans the machine gun can just mow down whole groups of enemies uh, it, it's, it's insanely good. If you had four people who all ran this, it's the mission wouldn't even be hard on hell die difficulty. You just, everyone just keep bringing in exosuits and just clear everything, go to the objectives and win and get whatever you want and be done. I mean, eventually you'd run out of them. I think the problem would be solo. You'd eventually, after three of them, you know, you'd be most of the way through the mission, but you'd run out and then you'd play normally because you wouldn't have any ammo left, you know, use the ammo in all three of them. But it's, it's really good. Definitely, uh, insanely good option. Um, so that's it. That's, that's all the things, guys. I, I just wanted to go through these stratagems with you. I uh, just want to do only stratagems in this video because I already know this video is insanely long just talking through all the stratagems. So let's not go on to weapons and other things. We'll save that for some other video, and we'll try to target each one in a different video because of how long it's going to take to get you through the ins and outs of every single one of these things. But I hope that helped you out, guys. Hopefully that gives you a better idea of what you should use or what you even would want to experiment with. And help you to save time not wasting your time trying out ones that it really are just trash. Like some of those ones I pointed out that are bad... Every test I ever did there, just terrible for some of those ones. Uh, and help you better understand, hopefully it helped you better understand what's good early versus late. Like some things are really good early and then terrible late. Like the machine gun, the Gatling Sentry, for example. Uh, but yeah, hope it helped you guys. That was all one of these videos to help you out. So now you have a better idea of what are the best stratagems right now when I made this video in Helldivers 2.